Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial video. We are TEJ, and today we're going to introduce you a very handy and useful tool, TEJ Smart Wizard. Please refer to the quick guide for further illustration. This is the introduction of the function buttons of Smart Wizard. There are two major features of using TEJ Smart Wizard. First, it can select data from different data bank categories at the same time. And second, the data of Smart Wizard can be automatically updated. And I will further demonstrate these two features later. Open up your Excel and you will find Smart Wizard at your Excel add-ins. And click on TEJ Tool Bar System Settings. And you will be able to enter into Smart Wizard. Just click on Login here. To begin with, I will demonstrate how can Smart Wizard extract data of different data bank categories at the same time. There are four steps to choose the data. The first step is to choose the data fields. At the top left corner, you can choose the data field you want. Choose from type, and you can choose the market you would like to include in your analysis. For example, I want my data population to be all listed companies in Taiwan, so I choose TSEC. And next, for a Smart ID, it indicates the different categories of data, and it is similar to the classification of our data bank, TEJ+. If, say for example, I want to include financial statements into my analysis, I will choose TJ. I first finance new accounting principle here. And then I will choose I first finance TEJ consolidated first accumulated all as data. And next, suppose I would like to include balance sheet items in my analysis. So I choose balance sheet as my sector. And then I click on total cash and cash equivalents and also accounts and notes receivable. So suppose I want to select these two fields, I click on them and click on select. So these two fields will be selected. What if I'm not sure which sector the field I want belongs to? I simply use the search function here. First, reset the sector to all. So the search result will include all data population. And then, say for example, I would like to include financial leverage into my analysis. So I search financial leverage, financial leverage, and then I click on search, and the result will be shown. And then I click on it, and click on select. The data fields will be selected. And then, what if I would like to include data fields from different data bank categories? Let's choose from Smart ID again. And for example, I want to include stock price into my analysis. So I choose TJ Equity. And then, I choose TSE OTC, an adjusted price daily. And next, I choose close price to be included in my data field. And voila, I successfully include two data bank categories at the same time, which are TEJ IFAS Finance and TEJ Equity. Click on one of the fields and the arrows pointing up and down. And you can put the fields in your preferred order, like this. And the second step is to choose the companies. Take a look at your right. Today, say for example, I want to select companies from the food industry. So I choose uh, foods from the sector. And then, if I want to include the top 5 companies into my analysis, I simply click on them. And then, click on select to select them. The third step is to choose the date. You can directly indicate the date range and frequency here at the bottom left corner. For instance, I would like my time horizon to be from 2018 
to 2020. So I type 2018 or 101 and then to 2020 1231 and then click on search and the corresponding dates will be shown below and for example I would like my data to be annual data so I choose yearly here and then I click on select all to select those dates when all are set click on export to excel to extract the data so what I've just demonstrated is the first feature to include data from different data bank categories at the same time. For the second feature, I will show you how Smart Wizard automatically updates your data. For instance, today I want to add one more company into my analysis, which is 1216 Uni President. So I type 1216 here at the bottom and then press enter and next I click on it and click on TJ Toolbar Refresh Worksheet here and uni president will be automatically included in my data like this okay and then let's go back to Smart Wizard next what if I want to change the data axis say for example I want to change companies to the x-axis instead of y-axis. First, I click on new worksheet here. So the result will be shown in a new worksheet. And then click on next. Add transformations. There are 13 styles of data field you can choose from. So if I want to put companies in the x-axis, I can choose from style 8 or style 11. For style 8, the dates will be at the second column. And as for style 11, dates will be the first column. And for example, I choose style 11. If you are not sure the difference between styles, you can always refer to the preset style on the top. After all are set, click on export to Excel and the result will be shown in a new worksheet and then I close my wizard close it and then I save my Excel file on the desktop and the Excel file will be saved and today say for example I want to include one more data field into my analysis do I need to open Smart Wizard and go through the data selection all again no, you don't need to. You simply refer to the box A1 in the worksheet. And the red dot on the top right corner is the memory dot that memorized your previous data selection. So I click on A1. And then I click on TJ toolbar edit command. And the data selecting form will be the same as your previous setting. Like this. Lastly, I will introduce you a very time-saving function for you. Click on TJ Toolbar, TJ Templates. And this website will provide you with different templates of analysis on Smart Wizard. And first, change the website language to English. And next, click on Support and then TJ Smart Wizard Download. And you will see many templates here. Say, for example, I want to refer to TJ Integrated Report Taiwan, the first one, and I click on download and download it to the desktop. And then open the template from the desktop, and it will be like this. This template will provide you information for many different aspects. For instance, you can see the data of stock prices, common information, company information, shareholding structure, etc. And the report worksheet is the data visualization of all the data from the rest of the worksheets. So how could I change the current company to my preferred company? 
you can indicate here at the box A1. For instance, I want to take a look at the data of uni president. So I type the ID 1216 and then press enter. And next, I click on refresh. And all the data of uni president will be automatically updated into the worksheet. And wait for a few seconds because it may take some time because these data involve a lot of different aspects of data into in our data bank. Okay, so right now it is done. You can see it is now 1216 uni president. And that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you for your time and patience. I hope you will find the video helpful. Should you have any question regarding Smart Wizard, feel free to contact TEJ. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.